<laughs> so I am here with a bunch of really awesome students from uh, the University of Colorado. Uh, they are with a program called HackCU. In fact, um, Alex and Alex yes. are yes. the co-creators of this group. Hi, Alex. Hey. And we've got Nika. Yep. And Alex. Alex. Yes. So tell me a little bit about what HackCU does at all, and then what is your what are some goals? Yeah, that you have for that. So HackCU is a hackathon. Um, so hackathon brings together a bunch of students from around the country, come together, build an application or build something that, so they see a problem in the world and they build mm -hmm. an application or something to fix it yep. over the course of a weekend. Um, we bring these students and just kind of give them the food and the, the APIs and all the stuff that they may need to, yeah. to go and build whatever that they've been thinking about building for the past few months. Very cool. So you get a lot of ideas smashed together. Yep. Uh, I imagine that there are a lot of sleepless moments. Uh, but how long do these hackathons last? 36 hours. 36 hours. 36 hours. Oh man, no sleep. no sleep. I was up for 56 hours straight <laughs> over Hacksy weekend. Yep. That's what happens when you only have <laughs> three people on your exec board for the first two. So wow. Wow. It was a wild experience. That's why we just order a bunch of monster and coffee and red bull and just yeah. like, fill people with caffeine. Live on yeah. caffeine for three days, right? So, uh, so with all this caffeine comes these ideas, you build out these proof of concepts. What do you get out of it? Yeah, so people build really cool products that are like um, kind of kind of proof of yeah, kind of a proof of concept. They build it and they'll 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 try to take it beyond. Uh, that weekend, yep. but it's hard for them to do that, right? So they build this thing out, it's awesome, they win a prize or something, and then they don't know what to do afterwards. I see, so it's like, hey, uh, I've got this great thing, oh shoot, I've got to build a business on top of it. Right. I don't know how to do that, I don't even know anybody who does, right? That's, right. okay, so that's a, that's a pretty good, pretty big challenge. Yeah. It's um, a huge challenge, but I think Boulder is, is kind of a great pipeline for that, because we have this thing called the New Venture Challenge, right? The New Venture Challenge is this, this entrepreneurial competition for students. Mm -hmm. So we have that. We have like tech stars there, and we have a lot of and it's like amazing entrepreneurial community mm -hmm. that wants to get involved in the school and wants to get involved in Axie and try to transfer that over. But it's still really hard to bridge that gap, right? Yeah. Even though the, all those things exist, they're they're separate. But wait, so yeah, so between the business and the and the technology, I see a, a, a difficulty to transition. But we, uh, Nikia was just talking about how. She came and she was able to learn web development skills like within a single hackathon. Uh, can you tell us a little about like what what brought you to the hackathon? Oh, Alex told me about it. Um, a lot of my fellow classmates kind of let me be in their group, and mm -hmm. they told me about what they were doing. Kind of instructed me on a lot of things that I hadn't learned in classes. So it's kind of like a more of a community feeling, like you know, come on in, we'll we'll, we'll teach you whatever we need to. They're going to teach us some stuff. I like that. It's a good good attitude to have. It's so, definitely not something that the uh, sort of the mainstream software has uh, going for it. So. It's a very cool culture because everyone wants to help everyone, and like um, you'll just have people be like, "Hey, I need help with Ruby, or I need help with Web Dev," and people will drop whatever they're doing during the hackathon or just in the middle of class or anything like that, and they'll just come and help you. And, that's kind of the community and culture, hacker culture, we're trying to build at the school. Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, very cooperative and I'll help you and you help me and everyone's helping you. Everyone. So you get friends out of it, mm -hmm. you get some software out of it, yep. uh, but you also get jobs out of it, don't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, who, who was it? It was, um, what you were saying one of your friends. Yeah, it Brian Newsom. Um, he built this application. They, they, the winning team built this application mm -hmm. that was uh, allowing you to uh, contribute money uh, donate to, to charities. Yeah, donate to charities through Twitter. Yep. Right. Yeah, and he got. And so he got a job through for Twitter this last summer through our hackathon, just because of it. Really gives a good way to connect with companies that you're really passionate about working uh, with, because you do have an option of which APIs and which uh, company sponsors you want to work with. and So it connects those two and possibly provides jobs. Yeah. Although there's a danger in that too, right? And the danger being that all these companies are coming in and just coming to like poach talent, right? right? 
right. and they're not there to incubate the ideas and help them take their their idea to the next level, right? right? And that's kind of scary for hackathons, right? That all these like we're getting money from them and it's great and it's amazing and we need it to happen. Mm -hmm. and getting jobs to it as a result is great, but I think what's more powerful is like those ideas that come out mm -hmm. and building upon those, right? So we want to try to foster that more, right? Right. And have like show that computer scientists like you are smart, like you have the power to take your idea from something to there something you bigger. Right? Yeah. You hit on it. Was it's not just it's not the code that comes out that matters the most. It's the people and uh, you. You're learning that there's more to life than just uh, the Ruby code that you're writing. Uh, that you, if you if you contribute something that you think is worth it, it's worth seeing that all the way through to something that's viable. Like try it, try it out in the market, see how it works, see if it actually solves people's problems. Yeah. So yeah. Well, very me, cool. To me, I kind of see it as uh, a, an opportunity to do what you make the seemingly impossible possible. Mm -hmm. uh, you're spending 36 hours creating something that you hadn't started working on before the weekend, and so mm -hmm. it just it's a crazy, inspiring event, and it just gets me pumped about making stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, very cool. <laughs> very cool. Well, thank you so much, Alex. Thanks. Anika and Alex, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.